Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. And today is day four of Minxmas. And baby, let me tell you something. We have an entire super full bag of empties, y'all. I mean, I mean, I, you see it, it's like about to overflow out of the bag. So yeah, you guys, you guys see that I have really, 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 really been working to get through my stash. Um, y'all know that I did go, I did get some things for Black Friday, definitely not as much as in years past, but I did really good this Black Friday. I did get a, quite a few items, but so yeah, today we are just going to go ahead and get into this empties video. It's going to be a long one. I have no idea how I finished all of this stuff. I promise you I don't. I have no clue, y'all. Um, I know that somebody is going to ask me about the hair. This is the 4C only um products that i used um go check out that review if you haven't seen it already that was day i think day two of mink smith i want to say i'll link it up above whatever day it was um it'll be linked up above but it's a twist out i did have to stretch it it just go check out the review because i definitely 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 have some thoughts so before we go ahead and get any further into this video definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kinky crew fam we absolutely would love 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 to have you i have so much good stuff coming in 2023 y'all are not going to want to miss it okay y'all so that is long enough of an intro for me we're going to go ahead and hop right into the things that um i have used up actually y'all i take that back so i have four products here that will be finished before the end of the year do you hear me before the end of the year so the first product I have here is actually a body product. It is from 1818 Farms. Um, and it's a shea butter that they make. It's called In the Southern Tea Scent. So that is what this looks like. My mom got this for me. I want to say, I want to say my mom got this for me last Christmas. So I'm going ahead and finishing this up. I used this on my body today and I got um, maybe one more use. Child, this probably isn't even enough for a use. But I can guarantee you that this will be gone chow in the next week okay y'all so the next product we have here is the honey's handmade melba's kitchen collection edition one sweet potato low poo co-wash cleansing butter so that is this next product here and y'all i mean we're starting to see the pan this is like maybe a section maybe maybe two um but this will be definitely be gone in my co-wash week which i have one more before the end of the year so this gotta go Next, y'all know this is real because this is upside down. <laughs> this is the Eden Body Works Coconut Shade Leave-In Conditioner. That is what it looks like. And y'all can see the little bit I have down there at the bottom. Um, I actually, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a little insight. I have an Eden Body Works wash day planned. I might have already asked my girlfriends over on Instagram to vote the products that they want to see. But um, this is definitely going to be used as the base for my leave-in, no matter which leave-in I choose. Um, because this little splash of leave-in here needs to go. I thought I was going to use it for like a midweek refresher. But y'all know that with me working from home, I honestly barely wear my hair out. So it usually doesn't even need a refresher. So this will be gone. There's only a, a splash left. Okay, y'all, and last but not least of my products that are just about finished but need to be topped off is the Main Choice Tropical Moringa Oil and Honey Daily Moisturizer and Sealing Cream. <gasps> okay, the Main Choice we all know is historically in the running for some of the longest names. So this is what the product looks like, and y'all can see that I literally have like one use. It's probably not even a whole use left in there, but this is actually on my docket for um next week's wash day so if y'all see a main choice styling video don't say i didn't tell you so all right y'all so now let's dig into this massive bag of empties that's about to trample me so y'all know first things first is something that i finish in absolutely every single one of my empties this is the dr bronner's um castile soap this one is in the hemp eucalyptus scent so that is what this looks like absolutely love dr bronner's I get mines from TJ Maxx most of the time. They're $11.99. It's just a couple dollars cheaper than like a Target or Walmart or something like that. Um, I go through one of these like every three months. I use this every single day. Every time I'm in the shower, I use Dr. Bronner's, whatever scent I'm using at the time. I love Dr. Bronner's. If you have not seen my shower routine, I show you guys how I use it and what I follow up with to make sure that my skin is still clean, soft, hydrated, all of that. 
Next, I have the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water, and this is 16 ounces. So this is what the product looks like. And let me tell y'all, I absolutely am obsessed with this product, okay? It, it hands down, I can tell y'all right now, this is one of my favorite products of 2022, if not one of my favorites of 2022. Um, this is just amazing. I used it as a refresher. I used it as a pre-poo at one point. I used this before I slick my hair up in buns and stuff. So it's just a very versatile, versatile multi-use type of product. And I absolutely love it. It's like five or six dollars I want to say so much so that I use my Sally's reward to get another one all right y'all next I have some vitamins so these are the nature's bounty women's multi multivitamin gummies and they have 50 milligrams of collagen so that is what these look like um they were just vitamins honestly I really couldn't tell that much of a difference with these so um, what I repurchase maybe I mean all right, y'all, next is another product that I have had for so freaking long. This is the KC by Cara Cara Curl Essence Moisturizing Shampoo. All right, y'all, there we go. She was being real finicky, but this is the shampoo. It is, so yeah, y'all, this is 12 ounces. This is an affordable line that's on the ground. It's in Sally's, um, and I use this whole line yeah i used the whole line so i have a review on the shampoo and the conditioner i did use the leave-in conditioner i absolutely love the leave-in conditioner i used the curling jelly i've used quite a few products from this collection the shampoo is really really good it's a nice cute moisturizing shampoo um it was good um i i'm finding that i'm not a huge huge fan of moisturizing shampoos and this is one that leans more more just very moisturizing though my hair did feel clean it didn't feel as clean as i like i like somewhere in between like a cleansing shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo and it's kind of hard to find a balance with a moisturizing shampoo for me personally so though i do like the shampoo and i would recommend it to others i don't think that i would personally repurchase all right y'all next we have another hair product this is the raw sugar kids banana and coconut milk leave-in conditioner detangler and this is the one for thick unruly hair all right y'all that is what this one looks like i'm sorry if you guys can tell a lighting change i had to turn my lights down because it was just washing out all of these products and who has time to keep keep showing them come on so this product was actually gifted to me my friend gabby shout out to my gabby girl she gifted me this one and there was like a strawberry one i don't think i finished that one yet i don't think i finished that one yet but it's like a strawberry one and that one's for thin hair um i think it said like thin and fine or something i do have a review on these um i ended up using this as like another like pre-poo refresher type of situation um i think i did use it as like something just to put on before like a twisting cream at least a couple times with like my cream of nature pure honey y'all know i love that and i can pretty much put any leave-in on top of that um this was okay would i repurchase it no um, and honestly, I don't know if this would be great for kids either because it, it literally felt like water. Okay, y'all, so I have yet another body product here. This is the Skin Timid Raspberry Rain Moisturizing Shave Gel. So that is what this one looks like. This is one of my all-time favorite shaving creams. I mean, the scent, come on. The amount, come on. The price, come on like you could get two of these and like the little twin pack duo pack and it's like maybe six dollars i absolutely really really like this this is a scent that i've been going back to for literal years literal years okay um i love it it's definitely one i would purchase for sure next i have a dental hygiene type of product i guess this is the thera breath um oral rinse it's like mouthwash and i got it in the scent sparkle mint And I heard that this one is just really good for your teeth. It definitely is a little pricey now. It's like $14 for a mouthwash, which is crazy. But bigger brands like Listerine have like alcohols that actually end up harming your teeth in the long run. So that's why I decided to pick this up. And I have very sensitive gums and everything. So um, this is actually really good. I know that they have a pretty large range of scents. Um, and though the Sparkle Mint was good, it doesn't have that, like, that 
that real like minty that I want before or after I brush my teeth. So I would definitely try a different scent before I pick this one up again. Okay, boom. We have yet another hair product here. This is the Shea Moisture F Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Cream Rinse. Shea Moisture is right up there in the running with the main choice with these long names. So that is what this looks like. And I actually picked this one up from Marshall's for $6. I did do a conditioner call on this and um, I was actually very excited. I don't know y'all. Um, it definitely holds true to the claim of it being weightless and it is for more fine wavy curly hair types. So honestly I feel like I didn't get the nutrients from this conditioner that my hair really needed. Um, y'all know that my hair literally will eat up a product honey. It'll eat a product up. Okay. And I just found that with this conditioner, I had to use a lot of it. Um, I had to like apply it once and then wet my hair, apply more to make sure that I was getting the slip that I really require with conditioners. So I was glad that I did pick it up for $6, but is it something that I would repurchase? No. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't repurchase these anyway because I'm pretty sure this line is discontinued, but I still see them in my Marshalls and TJ Maxx, so maybe. All right, the next product I have here is one of the Mario Badescu um, facial sprays, and this is in the scent Lavender. So that's what this one looks like. Y'all know, if you are not new to my empties, I finish one of these almost every empties video. I do really like them. I have picked up some other facial sprays to give a try, um, just because I feel like there's got to be more. <laughs> like, I, I have used at least 10 of these, like at least at least 10 of these and I've tried all the scents except for like the orange blossom um so I have been picking up new stuff but this is one that I'll probably always repurchase I just love it all right y'all so next I have another body product this is from tree hut this is their moisturizing body wash and it's in the scent tropical mango all right so here is the product it is a very large size as well it's 17 ounces and i picked this one up from marshall's as well and it was only 3.99 so that was a huge bang for your buck i have never tried anything from tree hut other than their body scrubs if you know you know they're just known for their body scrubs i want to say i might have used this in one of my body care routines as well so i'll link my playlist with my body care stuff up above um i did really like this body wash it foamed up um, it had a really nice big type of leather. I love the smell. I love anything mango scented or flavored for that matter. Yeah, it smells so good. And it's like a real mango scent, not like an artificially type of one. Um, it left my, scare, my, my skin <laughs> very moisturized. It even left like a little bit of a glow. Um, I thoroughly enjoy the Tree Hut products. I would definitely pick up um one again i would pick up this scent again and i would probably try different scents again especially if i could get it for 3.99 it was 17 ounces and i felt like i was sort of getting annoyed because i felt like i had to use so little that it was never gone like it just took me forever to use it up which is a good problem to have for me so i definitely would repurchase this again all right y'all another body wash i have here this is the champagne apple and honey shower gel from bath and body works so that is what it looks like typical bath and body works packaging this is 10 ounces this is the full the first full size bath and body works um shower body wash situation that i've used i used to only use these for like bubble baths and stuff so i never really used it as like a shower gel but they actually work very very well after like a dr broader or something where you want to deposit moisture into you know your body after you thoroughly cleansed it so um for that reason i did like it it was definitely good it's definitely a scent that i enjoy i would definitely pick it up again during like a semi-annual it definitely gives me all the fall vibes i actually finished this up maybe like three days ago or something like i just 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 finished this up so i'm getting into more warmer wintery type of scent so i did like this though it was definitely good and i would pick this up again if i needed you know another fall scent and it was on sale because we don't i don't buy anything full price from bath and body works all right back to the hair products i have a mask here from maui moisture this is the detoxify and volcanic ash scalp care mask for dull congested hair and it claimed to purify and illuminate 
so that is this and y'all already know we clean out our products around here so y'all surprisingly enough i actually really really like this mask these are in the ground they're in um like walmarts and targets and i'm sure they're in drugstores like cvs or um like walgreens and stuff maui moisture is pretty accessible um and they have a wide range of products so i honestly haven't tried that much i do have a couple products in my stash that i need to pull out and give a try but this mask was actually very surprising to me i really did like it i was able to get at least at least like six seven uses out of this and it's a 12 ounce container and it was a it was thick but after letting it sit it really gave me the moisture i don't know about the purification aspect like my hair didn't feel you know like any cleaner than usual like it didn't give me any of those things but it definitely made my hair feel very soft very moisturized very manageable all of those things so i actually really did enjoy this is it something i would repurchase um i don't see why not like is it something i'm running to repurchase no but i don't see where i would just say absolutely not you know what i mean and I absolutely would recommend this product for like a new natural, for somebody who's on more of a budget, for somebody who needs something on the ground. This is, this was good. Okay, y'all. I finally, finally finished my Sleek and Shine shampoo. Y'all, the real ones know. The OGs know. Okay. I have been using this shampoo literally since I started my channel. So this is what Miss Sleek and Shine looks like. It is a huge 12.5 ounce bottle. It does have sulfates. However, my hair was all always left very moisturized. Um, definitely cleansed for sure, but my hair never felt dry with this shampoo. Like you could shampoo your hair twice and my hair still never felt dry. So those are the type of sulfate shampoos that I'm really looking for for when I use like a silicone on my hair and I need to wash it off. This is a great sulfate shampoo option. This is the only sulfate shampoo I'm recommending at the present moment. Like it's just that good. It lasted me forever. You can get these absolutely anywhere. Uh, Garnier did their thing on this one for sure. All right, y'all, next we have another product here from Bath & Body Works. This is one of their hand soaps, and this is in the Eucalyptus Mint. So that's what it looks like. I absolutely love the packaging on these bottles. They're so simple, so, so cute. Um, I love that they're literally just the color and the label. Um, nothing too crazy, okay? Um, I actually really, really like this scent. This is one that I put in my bathroom. Yeah, it smells delicious to me. Um, or not in my bathroom. I put this in my kitchen, in my kitchen sink. So like after I did dishes and everything, it was right there. It was a nice neutral, clean scent. Um, this is absolutely one I would repurchase. No questions asked. And while we're still talking Bath and Body Works, I have yet another body lotion here. This is actually the Champagne Apple and Honey. So this matches the body wash that I had finished up really interested in buying lotions from Bath and Body Works anymore they just you know don't do it for me this is one that I have had in my collection for a very very long time if you know you know I have a body care collection just as bad as my hair not just as bad but like equivalently as bad as my hair collection being that I only have one body honey so um I do like the smell it has a claim of 24 hour moisture I wouldn't go that far um this i prefer the body creams to the body lotions um but is it one that i would repurchase still probably not <sighs> baby another one i used up this is the mayo pomegranate and honey curl refreshing spray let me tell you something so this is what the product looks like the only good thing i have to say is that i like the pump and the packaging is cute now for me for me for me for me for me i hated this product okay um it has some sort of holding agent in this product that I freaking despise. So you would spray it on your hair and leave it like a usual refresher. And then when you touch your hair, there's like some sort of like, I don't know. It was some sort of like holding something and it would leave your hair sticky. And I didn't like the way that it would leave my hair. I literally diluted this product with water. Like it got halfway down and I put water in it to try and okay i know that there are some people who do like that for it to spray and give you a little additional hold i'm not one of them girls i'm not one of those curl friends okay um i did not like this product at all would not repurchase would not recommend mm -mm. okay so next i have a little baby body butter this is from mia's miracle body butter and it's in the scent vanilla champagne 
that's what it looks like and y'all actually when one of my aunts came to visit she left this here and i absolutely really enjoyed it it was like a whipped type of butter not the same type of whip as like butter baby but like right in between butter baby and like a harder butter so you still have to like you know dig your finger in a bit and really emulsify for it to like get down to that little oily consistency that we love um but i actually really really enjoyed this would i repurchase it over my butter baby no ain't nobody talking my buddy my butter baby as far as i'm concerned but it definitely was good to try and i'm kind of glad she left it here because i liked it okay y'all so next i have a candle and this is from a brand called shop in tune um and i got mine in it's called girl power but it's in the scent love spell so if you're one of if you're one of the girlies <laughs> okay who was around for victoria's secrets when they had their og scents this is the og love spell it is a soy wax candle it was eight ounces i swear it lasted me for freaking ever um so this is what it looks like so that's what it looks like all of her candles come with um playlists spotify playlists i think they are um so this was r&b girlies and y'all know i go ahead and get the wax out so i did get the wax out of here and one of the things that i've noticed with soy candles is that they leave this black like soot and i don't think i like that i don't like that at all because now my jar is all crusty and dusty granted if it's something that i wanted to repurpose i could wash it out am i no i'm gonna send it straight to recycling <laughs> um but yeah, I definitely would repurchase this scent, but I want to try her other stuff before I go ahead and commit to another love spell. Okay, y'all, so I actually have two more Honey's Handmade products. So that makes three Honey's Handmade products in this empties alone, okay? I told y'all we are getting through this stash. So the first thing I have here is from Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 3. This is the Melba's Pound Cake Curl Cream Hair Smoothie. So that is what this one looks like. I like the newer packaging, the just um, clear container and black lid versus the orange. And I completely cleared this one out. One thing I'll always give to Honey's Handmade is that they really do hit the smells. Um, okay, the smells are always accurate. Um, but as for the product itself, I was not the biggest fan of this product. I almost had to like force myself to use this one up. Um, so it didn't have the moisture for me. Um, I guess it did give me some curl definition, but honestly, my hair, my hair has to really dislike a product in order for my hair not to curl up. It's almost harder for it to, to do, to not curl up than it is to actually curl. Um, but this didn't have the moisture for me. It felt cool going on, but it, the moisture just didn't last. I always had to go in with something heavier on top that I knew would really seal it in. So would I repurchase it? No, I'm not repurchasing anything from Honey's Handmade. And then the second product I have here is actually one that I'm really sad about. This is from Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2. This is the Coconut and Apple Curl Glaze. That's what this one looks like and she's empty. Now if y'all were here when I initially tried these products, I, I love the Edition 2 collection. It was almost like it was tailored to my hair specifically. And this is another one that just smells delicious. This was just a really, really good gel. I was able to do braid outs. I was able to do twist outs and wash and goes. And it's very, very, very hard for me to find a um, gel like that that I'm able to do multiple things with. The only other one I've really been able to lock down like that is the Pearly Braid Out Glaze. Um, I hate to see this one go, but it, it was good while it lasted. Okay, y'all. So next, I actually have a little plug-in. And this is in the scent Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. So y'all know what the little plug-in things look like. This is actually in my plug-in as we speak. And it smells like holiday wonder. Next, I also have a candle here from Bath & Body Works. Um, this is a Bath & Body Works household. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is actually the pistachio ice cream. So this is what it looks like. Again, y'all, we get the wax out. I hate to see this go okay um i bought this for my mom like three mother's days ago <laughs> and i stole this back from her because i simply love this scent and i didn't buy one for myself and that is one of my biggest regrets in life i should have bought like 10 of these because i don't know what bath and body works is doing but this right here smells so freaking 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 good it's not even like a very foodie scent 
it's very clean with like a hint of pistachio but this is absolutely one of my favorite candles i've had ever okay y'all so i actually have a nail dryer spray and this is one i actually just picked up off of amazon so that's what the packaging looks like it's a cute 7.5 ounces and honestly this was cute it was a nail dryer spray but i really feel like i went through this entirely too quickly um this is like a bigger container than i feel like most nail dry sprays come in but i flew through this so for this reason i would not repurchase i'll just get my lazy butt up and go to target or walmart and get the one that i normally get next i have a body care item this is from dr teals this is the pink himalayan salt scrub and it's in the glow radiance version this is another one that i know for sure you guys saw in one of my body care routines and y'all look look at the container like you can see me through the container honey i love this scrub now i usually just pick up like you know like the bath salts from dr teals oh child i got everything all over me i usually just get like the bath salts and stuff from dr teals and it's the first like product outside of that that i've tried yeah yeah lisa said i'll be trying more stuff Mm -hmm. we're getting there y'all i have so much stuff i don't know how i finished so many empties but i'm very proud of myself my day okay y'all so since we're here i have two more hand soaps from bath and body works so the first one i have here is mango mai tai and then i have mahogany apple so that is what those two look like when i repurchase them yeah um i like the bath and body works hand soaps and i only get them when they're on sale for like 250 they do like a two or three fifty dollar sale and that's when i really load up on these so um honestly the scents depend on the season okay y'all two things i have in boxes so the first thing i have here is from function of beauty it's those little hair pods that they have my friend gabby again she's just as much of a product junkie as i am she gave me like a whole entire bag of these so i decided to try them out and i still have the other half left um so this is from the lengthen collection so that's what they look like i literally just broke down a box so i can recycle it um, is that something I already purchased? Probably not, but I have 50,000 more to use up. Thanks to Gabby Girl. Next, I have um, a product from the Bomb Bath, um, and this is the Tahiti Bomb. So that's what the packaging looks like. Um, this one wasn't that special to me. I did use a glow in the dark one that I absolutely was too, too, too obsessed with. Um, but this one, okay, y'all. He, here are the last of the candles i promise these are the last of the candles and i have four of them so i finished two of my forever mood minis i have the grown folks business and hey big head so that's what these look like and i did get the wax out of these as well um i do like the forever mood candles um and i y'all know i really don't mind spending money on stuff but i feel like these are really really expensive for some candles so i have to think long and hard about which ones i'm going to repurchase because i want to say the box for all four of them is like 250 dollars and i just feel like that's crazy to spend on candles what i will say about the forever mood candles is that they do last a really long time the burn time is really nice and they burn evenly nicely um i've never had any problems with them that way but they're just they're just pricey Next, I have a candle here from Obara Candle Collection um, in the scent Citrus Groove. That's what this one looks like. It's having a hard time focusing on the label, but this is one that my parents brought back from Jamaica for me. Um, they know I'm a candle girl. And honestly, mm -mm, um, mm -mm. it just, I don't like the way it really smelled. Though it smells citrusly, citrusy, it has like a smoky type of smell to it like a woodsy mm -mm. and it didn't burn evenly as you guys can see in here so i didn't even attempt to get the wax out and then i promise the last candle i have here is from dw home one of my favorite companies for candles um and this is in the scent magic and i got this one from tj maxx for 7.99 so honestly i bought this in like october and i bought it because how freaking cute it's giving halloween um you know wax gone um this one is a scent that i wouldn't repurchase from them though it was a very light floral e it's a very clean but leaning towards floral type of smell but it was one of those that i would burn when i just wanted to burn a candle but didn't necessarily want to smell anything like it's that light of a scent um and granted you need scents like that but is it one that i would repurchase no okay y'all so the next product i have here is a little all-nighter spray and this is one of the little ones it's only one fluid ounce i'm not even gonna try to get my camera to focus on it because child she hasn't been focusing on the bigger things um i love the um, urban decay all-nighter sprays 
I think they're great and they're I have been trying some other setting sprays and they they ain't hitting on nothing so I probably will be getting Urban Decay's next oh, I love this product this is from curls this is the sea kelp and cucumber hair mask so this is what this product looks like and as y'all can see it is like gone gone I loved this product I literally love this mask I hate that they discontinued this um but honestly this sent me on a curls kick so I bought a bunch of curls products after that um, and I really have been interested in getting to the, my curls collection that I have. This hair mask made me feel like I was sleeping on the entire brand. So in 2023, we will be diving into some more curls for sure. Okay, y'all. So next, I have three hand sanitizers here. And these are all from Bath & Body Works. I have the Almond Blossom, Mango Grove, and Coconut Pineapple. All cute scents. What I repurchase, I guess, like I said, is with the hand soaps. It really just depends on the season. Again, I only get these on sale. All right, couple hair products here. I have the Sultanicals Frozen Drip and Grip Super Hole Gel. So that's what this one looks like. And again, cleared out. There's a learning curve to this gel, and I um, don't really have time to keep playing with it. Honestly, it wasn't until like the last wash and go that I was able to really, really, really get it to to work out for me. Now, what I will say, out of this eight ounce container, I got like four wash and goes, which is unheard of. Of eight ounces of gel. It definitely has hold for sure um but i know that the first two times i had to like do my wash and go it didn't go with large clumps on top of it i don't know what that was about couldn't stand that um and then this product flaked and i would usually use it with the um frizz was leaving and it still flaked so um would i repurchase this no i just don't think that this one's for my hair and i honestly don't have the patience to keep playing around with it either the next product I have here is Sultanicals, the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Mask. So that's what this one looks like. And again, this one is gone. I absolutely love this. Okay, I absolutely love this. I did try the Afrotastic. That was one of like my first YouTube videos. And I hated that mask, y'all. I hated, hated that mask. And I was almost scared to try this because I didn't like that one so much. But this was really, really good. I actually bought another one of these from Sultanicals on Black Friday. Um, and that's honestly the reason why I went to their website and I ended up buying more stuff. So this is already a repurchase. Next, y'all, is a Just For Me Pre-Poo. I'm not showing this. Y'all already know. I finished at least one of these every empties. And it's just that good. Like, I'm on at least, this is like, has to be at least my 10th jar. I stand for the Just For Me Pre-Poo. Honestly, they should probably run me a check because I put a lot of y'all on all right, y'all, I have another body scrub here, and this one's from Bath & Body Works. This is a champagne apple and honey, same scent. Um, this was cute. It was okay. Um, this was like a jelly scrub, and I really didn't like that. It was a very um, gentle scrub, and I wasn't really here for that too much. Um, I like more abrasive body scrubs, so for me, it just wasn't what I was looking for. The next product I have here is from Caracare. This is their cleansing cream. And this one was actually gifted from me to me from my aunt. Um, it only had like a use left in it. And honestly, it's not memorable. It was just okay. What I repurchased, mm -mm. Next, I have a body scrub here. These were like, not a body scrub. Um, these were bath salts from another friend's small business. She's not in business right now, but I'll try to link her website down below as well. They were called the Love, Lo Love Thyself Bath Salts. They had like dried flowers along with the um, bath salts. So it was really cute in this little jar, but I can't repurchase. Next, I have the Black Girl Sunscreen, and this is in the kids' version, the 50 SPF. So this is what it looks like, and I actually bought this because um, it was on clearance at my Target, and it has a higher SPF than the original one. So that's why I bought it, and I honestly should have bought a couple of them, but um, I didn't, but it was good. I like the Black Girl Sunscreen. Okay, so next I have a body lotion from Bath & Body Works, and this is in the scent Malibu Heat. That's what this one looks like. Again, the same typical Bath & Body Works packaging. Um, this was okay. Like I said, I wouldn't buy the body lotions again. They're cute for when I work from home and I'm, you know, just in the house. But as far as interacting with, like, the elements and stuff, the moisture just doesn't last to me. I have the Olaplex sample size um, shampoo. Again, I'm not going to put this in the camera. This was cute. Um, it's definitely... Um, 
a cleansing shampoo that leans more towards stripping um so i would only use this when i really needed to clarify but i did like it it's not one that i wouldn't repurchase next i have a facial wash here and this is from honest beauty and um it's the refreshingly clean gel cleanser this again wasn't memorable all right y'all so i have the three plugins that i finished here and um the one was the twisted peppermint like i said and then i have pumpkin pecan brittle and the creamy nutmeg so that's what the labels look like um i would probably repurchase the pumpkin pecan brittle it was a cute little fall scent but as far as the creamy nutmeg this is the worst plug i've ever had um i thought it was gonna give off a cute little fall vibe mm -mm, it gave off a we can barely smell it vibe so i absolutely would not repurchase that one that's the first plug in that i just is a hard no for me all right y'all and the last two products that i have here are actually full because they expired so these are the african pride shea miracle um buttery cream hair moisturizer and the twist and lock smoothie so that's what these look like and these are from the o o o o o g african pride collection and on the bo bottom of the jars it says that they expired in 2020 so that's we're going on three years ago so unfortunately they do have to go i did use them before but it was it was early in my um hair journey so can't really say much but i'm gonna go ahead and count all of my empties because y'all know we had a goal this year so let's go ahead and see if i hit okay y'all so i just counted up all of my empties and first of all let me tell y'all that since the last empties the last empties i finished 111 products i keep a note on my phone to let me know um the amount of products that i finished for the year but today today y'all we have 164 products finished hello like i don't know how i got through all of those products but y'all i'm so so proud of myself um i know we set a goal and i don't know if it was for 150 products or 200 products but either way i am not mad um i will post a pop-up on the screen and let y'all know what the goal was i'll have to go back in my video my first empties from last year to see but i am too freaking proud of myself because we i did the daggone thing i did the daggone thing 164 products y'all and one of my goals for 2024 is to move out of Pittsburgh <laughs> because it is nothing but ghetto here, y'all. And I feel like I have outgrown this city. And one of my biggest goals is to finish up my products, like use my hair products, use as many hair products as possible because I won't finish my stash before then. Um, use a lot of my body care, read a lot of my books so that I can give them away or um, sell them or whatever the case may be. So I'm very, very proud of myself that I was able to get rid of all of these products so freaking proud of myself so yeah you guys let me know down below what products you finished up this year what were some of your favorites what were you disappointed about let me know all of all of all of all of all of those things i'm so freaking proud that we finished all of these products y'all like get into it get into it i know y'all can't tell on the um shelf because when i have a hole in my shelf i take things out of the bins that i have in my closet and put them on my shelf okay um <laughs> yeah y'all so i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm so sorry that it is so long but i had no idea that i was going to have 58,000 products here um so i hope that you enjoy and i will see you tomorrow for our next day in minxmas love you guys bye